Hey everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. Um, I'm really excited today to show you what we're going to be making. Um, I'm making a Christmas gift for someone. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm using a shadow box that I got from Michaels. We're going to be using the Cricut machine today. Um, and we're using patterned iron-on from Cricut. Now, I know you're not supposed to iron on to cardboard but I'm doing it anyway and it's working out just fine so I'm going to show you how I do this um, first of all we've already taken we've already I've already gone ahead and placed this in the Cricut Maker and cut it you can do this with the Cricut Explore Air 2 um, I took my patterned iron-on vinyl and I placed it on the mat face down and I am using a green mat for this and now we're just going to take this off of the mat. Oops. Well, wow, this one is a little bit thinner. It already wants to weed itself. So now we're done with that. And I'm just going to go ahead and weed it. Now I went ahead and made an 8 by 10 square in Cricut Design Space just so that I could do this a little easier. So all I'm doing is taking... The cardboard don't mind my craft room it's a mess I've got about 20 projects going on here and I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the tabs here on the back of this shadow box that I got I got these in a three pack at Michaels for $15 and so just gonna pull those tabs up I'm gonna lift the cardboard piece out and then I'm just going to place my patterned iron on onto my cardboard and I'm going to bring it over here to where I have my easy press and I have it set at 265 for 30 seconds um, you don't have to leave it on for the full 30 seconds, but I would keep it at the lower heat, which is the 265. That seems to be working for me. And I just give it a good press. And it might stick a little bit when I go to pull it up, but that's okay. You can just pull it back down. So I'm letting this go the full 30 seconds on the top. Don't be scared, it'll be okay. So we've got our top done. Now we're gonna do the bottom half. Unless you have the big easy press, then you could do this in you can do this in one full swoop there. down and then let it cool for just a second this is a warm peel okay. now this will bubble up a little bit on the board but once it cools it'll completely flatten itself out so if you see a bubble don't worry about it and that's all we're going to do for this right now and then i'll come back and show you what else we're going to do to finish this off Okay, so I have gone ahead and put the um, the sayings that I'm going to put on the shadow box. I've gone ahead and designed that into design space. And now I'm just cutting it out with the Cricut on regular vinyl. So um, because I will be putting it on glass, I did mirror the image so that... It will read correctly when I put it on the glass of the shadow box. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let this cut and I'm gonna let this finish. And then when I'm done with that, I will come back on and I will show you what we're gonna do. And then we'll be finished. <clears throat> 
Okay, so I've gone ahead and I have cut my vinyl out and I've gone ahead and I've weeded it. So now I'm ready to put it on the glass on the in our uh, shadow box. So right here. So I'm just gonna take it now. It's got my transfer paper on there and I'm just gonna center it inside of the shadow box. And I think Put it in here like this to make sure that it's in there nice and smooth. I'm just going to give it a nice little press with my fingers real quick. And then I'm going to take my little squeegee and I'm just going to give it a good rub down on the glass. And I know you can hear my heater again, and I apologize for that because I know it's really loud and annoying, but um, my craft room gets really, really cold, so it has to be on. Okay, <clears throat> so now that's done, and I'm just going to go ahead and peel off my transfer tape of my... Uh, what am I trying to say off of the glass and now it says believe now I also have this little <clears throat> butterfly that I've been trying to work into these um, unfortunately when I was doing the words in the file I didn't pay attention and I didn't make them the correct size so I couldn't do it all as one piece as I had hoped. So I'm having to actually cut this apart and piece it, which is not fun, I will say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this one a good rub onto the transfer paper in case you can't see what I'm doing. I'm telling you what I'm doing here. Just gonna give it a good rub. And I'm gonna pull that design onto my contact paper is actually what I use. I find it just works really, really well. So here's my butterfly. And I'm just gonna stick it in here on the glass somewhere. I'm gonna try and fit this in very carefully. Yeah, it looks like that's about the only place it can go. It's down here. So. I'm just rubbing the design on in here. And then I'm just gonna take my tape and pull it off here, my uh, contact paper. And now I'm ready to put our backing on, the one that we ironed on earlier. And I'll show you what the finished product looks like. It's really a fun, easy, quick little project to do. Especially if you're just trying to make something fun for somebody for Christmas or any holiday actually and that's what it looks like isn't it beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it and I will show you the other one that I've made so far too there's three of them and I will post pictures of them when they're finished but And there's that one. So there's a set that says dream, believe, achieve. And um, like I said, I'll post a photo of it when I'm finished. And then you can see what they all three look like together. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
give it a like. Um, if you have questions, share a comment below. If you, um, if you really, really love it, share it. You can share it all over social media. Um, and then um, if you need to, if you want to get more ideas or something, you can always visit my blog, craftyauthor.com. And I am on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram as The Crafty Author. So just search me, give my page a like, and you'll see all my cool creations that I come up with. And until next time, keep on crafting. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.